Uh, congrats to, to Paul and Stanford, obviously, on a phenomenal season, and uh, we look forward to having them in our conference um, as soon as uh, next year. <laughs> um, uh, feels great, you know, and uh, it's so fitting. I came in, and there were no players sitting at the table, and so I looked at, at the signs to see the names, and um, to see these two names, um, whoever made that choice, you're, you're a smart uh, woman or man, um, because... <laughs> These two women um, are, are phenomenal in so many ways. And uh, any team that's ever going to be good um, is owned and run and led by players. Um, players who have courage, um, players who are intelligent, um, players who are willing to act. And um, these two, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm a lucky guy um, to have them in my life. And, uh, we're just elated right now. Um, as I just told the whole team, this is their team, right? They were both here in 2021. They have national championships under their belt, right? Um, but it's but it's but it's different now, right? Um, they were part of that team. Now they own this team, and uh, and others with them. So um, we're we're elated to be national champions. Questions for Earl? Yeah, for both of you, you know, um, Stanford had not given up multiple goals in the game all season. You know, five is the most since 2000 against them. What do you guys just do to, you know, do that on the scoreboard today? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I feel like I do know. I, we, we have a great team, and I, I'm so happy with how we performed tonight. And I think that just for us to prove that we not only win a national championship, but we win it like this. Like Brian said, Stanford's a great team. And... We just show that we're like a little bit greater. Um, and I think that what we did, it really fits our team. Our back line is insane. Our goalkeeper is insane. Everyone that performs on this team is incredible. Um, what we do, that we managed to score five goals, I'm not shocked. Uh, but I think that maybe it proves a point that we are that good. And also, props to Brian, what he's built here. We're very confident in what we do. Um, as a team, we didn't go into this game wondering what we were going to do and how we were going to score and how we were going to perform. We knew that, and we did it. So I think everyone performed 100% today. For Romeo? Oh, uh, Leilani, you know, in that post game, that breakdown there, you know, talking about holding the trophy and saying we have the best offense and the best defense in the country. I mean, how, how good does it feel to say that you guys have the right to say that you guys have the best just of those two facets of the game this year? Yeah, definitely <laughs> a little bit of troll in there, but, um, but no, definitely just to. Everyone was left. Oh, man. <laughs> no, definitely. Um, like Beata said, um, I feel like. At Life for us, as good of a team as we are, we're a very humble team. Um, we play for each other. Um, you know, I like to, you know, a quote Brian said about keeping the main thing the main thing, and we just go out there and we play ball because we love it. We also love each other, um, and that's what makes this team so, so incredible. It's like, obviously, talent um, can get you so far, but, but, but playing your heart out for the people who, who, who are in your locker room and you, you, and, you, and you go to war with every day and for every day, um, nothing beats that, and, and, and that's why you have results like that, because you got a team that's, <laughs> that's going to fight through it all, you know, do the good and the bad, and we've been resilient this entire season, and sometimes it's looked like, dang, are we even going to get there, but we've, we've persevered, um, and we've, we've been unconquered. Is that a good thing? <laughs> is that a, is that a good thing? Yeah. 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 Third row. Hey, Leilani, when I spoke with you yesterday, you said you guys had to play Florida State soccer in order to win this game tonight to show the nation what Florida State soccer is all about, what it looks like. I mean, that's it. I mean, to, to show everybody that, how much does that mean to you? It means everything. You know, I, I, and hopefully the little girls who are at home watching this national championship game, they are thinking to themselves, like, Mom and Dad, I want to play for that team because I want to play in games like that. Um, and if they don't know already, we're obviously a great program and have been a consistently great program over time, but we're a family here, man, and we love each other. And obviously, you know, what Brian's been able to do and, and the coaching staff he's been able to bring in, you got people here who genuinely care about you from, from your trainers to your strength and conditioning people to people who do nutrition to the people who are doing our analytics to our film people. Like, everyone cares about you and, and, and wants what's best for you and everyone works their butts off for this game, you know, and it, it definitely shows because 
the amount of love and compassion and care that goes into what's built here, it's, it's second to none, man. Third row. Well, congratulations, Coach, for you too, congrats. Um, when you look at this team, you've got freshman All-American, you've got sophomores and juniors banging in goals and, and playing defense, you've got seniors who have been here before and, and are accomplishing it. When you look at this whole team, is this kind of like a coach's dream? You've just got contributors from every different angle. Oh, you said kind of like a coach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, delete two words. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's funny. It's normal coach feeling, right? Game day. Um, your opponent, um, nerves, anxiety, right? Thinking different things. Honestly, I, every game, start game day, start of games, throughout games, I was not feeling any of those things. And it just comes down to, to talent and leadership, right? And belief and determination, all, a combination of all those things. So it le honestly, it left me incredibly relaxed, right? In a way that I've never felt before as a coach, right? And they were, were playing in the national championship tonight against Stanford, who Stanford hadn't lost 10 games back into last year, 40 some odd games, but we weren't nervous. And that's no disrespect to Stanford because they are phenomenal. It's all credit to these players. So coach's dream. <laughs> Just a reminder, questions for the student athletes at this point. Coach will be in a moment. Uh, we've got a question on Zoom from Melvin. All right, thank you very much. Uh, congratulations, Leilani and uh, Beata. Um, you guys have a couple things in common. Obviously, now you're champions again. You have that in common. But you also have in common that you um, switch positions. Um, you, you're both playing a different position now than you played um, earlier in the season, earlier in your career at Florida State. Could you talk a little bit about how important it is that you guys and the rest of your teammates are willing to sacrifice for the team and play wherever you're needed in order to uh, get uh, victories? Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, this goes back to just uh, what this program has built over the years, um, wanting to be a professional, um, wanting to be held to high standards, and sometimes you have to play different roles in, like, in order to help your team win. And you know, credit to everyone you know on the field and on the bench, and and the people who who go to train every single day. Like you have a selfless group who who just care about the winning, who care about winning games like this, and care and care about being champions. So whatever kind of has to be done in order to help the team, I feel like every single person on this team is willing to do so. I would also add on that. I think that uh, no one comes to Florida State knowing exactly what they will be or what they will become. I think everyone comes here with an open mind and a belief in that the coaching staff will make them into what they are. Lauren Flynn, defender of the tournament or whatever you call it, um, extraordinary, but she was forward when she got to FCU uh, and got changed into a center back and now she's best in the nation. So I think that everyone, like not just me and Leilani, but everyone here have that mindset and the open mindset that they said, I think. Everything we do is for the team and it, it adds a lot to when you leave this place as well. Front row in, right? What does it mean for you guys to do this in undefeated fashion? Something this program's never done before. That's incredible. Yeah. Like when you put it into perspective, you know that's incredible. And I feel like looking from the outside in, everyone who's watching, they're like, dang, they just won a national championship game five one. It must be easy. Like that is the furthest thing from the truth. I don't think the scoreline really represents like how incredible of a program Stanford is. Like nobody gets here by luck. Nobody gets here, you know. I don't know, but like to. To play at this level um, it is surely not easy. To win one game is not easy, let alone what, how many? I don't know how many. And then to obviously come in and win this game and go undefeated and, you know, had a, had a, had a perfect season, you know, win in the regular season, win in the ACC championship, and then to, to fin it off, finish it off three for three like this, um, it's unheard of. But just obviously, um, just big uh, shout out to everyone who puts, who puts their time in and who cares about this program from the players to the staff. Yeah, for both of you guys, from that moment the clock struck, you know, they started counting on 10, to the graffiti, you know, hugging each other. What was that moment like? What was going through your mind when you're just like, you know, out there celebrating in jubilation, you know? 
I like saw I saw there was a minute left and I was like I don't think you can score four goals in a minute. So I was like, how much is it? How much is it? Yeah. Can you? No, but I can you? And then we're down in the corner. I was like, can we score a goal though? No, but so there was a lot of thoughts at that moment. Starts counting down. I don't know where the ball was. Goalkeeper, someone. Uh, I think I ran the other way eventually. Like there was ten seconds left. I just wanted to celebrate. It was amazing. Yeah. Unforgettable experience yeah. for sure. Middle. Um, for Biata and Leilani, you know, Brian is the first head of credit, Mark Gregorian with the building of the program, stuff like that. But you guys have been here through the transition. You know, you've seen it come to the top now. You know, how has this program become Brian's? I actually think that's a great question. And I think that Brian is a little too humble in this <laughs> because I, he always credits Mark, as should, because this is a great program and it has been. Um, but there's a lot of people that go into this program and there has to be the right coach. You can't just leave a legacy like Mark left um, to anyone. And the way Brian stepped up in here, I like it was absolutely a transition period, which I think very short on last year. I think we could have made it this far last year if we would have had a little more time. Uh, we didn't have that time, I don't think, but what we built on here and how we got here, I think it's such a credit to Brian, and he will not say it, but <laughs> it is, and he will continue to make this program. It has changed a little. Um, I think it's in a good way. I think all things like change over time. Um, as a player, I feel very confident that this program will continue to be great. I totally agree with that. I think this program is in tremendous hands. You know, we talked about freshmen, sophomores, and then to have, you know, some more years under a great coach like this, under a great coaching staff who once again care about you as players before anything else, it is, is it, it's incredible. And obviously to be in the position he was two years ago and you know there's an opening to coach one of the best programs in the country, like that takes some guts, man. Take some gumption. As you <laughs> um, and to step up the way he did um, and come and just be him and you know we, we kind of talk about you know at Florida State being us and playing like us he came in and and, and he was a self and 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 we gravitated towards it he gravitated towards us um, and it's shown and yeah don't be humble you're a great yeah. coach man. Mm -hmm. amazing <laughs> we have time for a couple more yeah I just want to ask it obviously the first 25 minutes really tight and then Jordan gets that penalty and see a freshman just so calmly get up there and take that and then to be followed up less than 30 seconds later by Jody's goal. Can you talk me through that uh, that sequence and kind of what that did for the team? That girl is incredible. That girl is incredible. Like, her work ethic, like you guys obviously don't see what she, how she practices every day, but that girl is incredible and just a all-round really just amazing kid who cares about her craft, who cares about the people around her, how she's a little shy, but she's slowly breaking out of her shell. And it's been, it's been literally amazing to watch her progress, watch her grow. I'm so excited. I wish I was staying for a couple years just so I could play with these freshmen and these sophomores, man, because they, they are incredible, really. But all season, she stepped up in a way that I've never seen before. It is shocking. It's phenomenal. And no, she is. She's that girl. <laughs> yeah, I think it says a lot about her. Like, we have other players that can take a penalty like that. Like, there's no nil in a final like that. I know Leilani could have taken that penalty. Oh, she, she was almost taking it. But, like, <laughs> for her to get the penalty and take it, and we all, like, we don't want to run, like, you get what I mean? Like, she, we would know that she would score. We, yeah, we have full confidence in her, and she has full confidence in herself, as Leilani said. Incredible. And then JB does that goal. That was kind of incredible, too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, what's amazing and wasn't what doesn't get talked about a whole lot relative to Jordan. Uh, my first summer here, I got a text from Brooke, our women's basketball coach. At an she was at an AAU tournament, and she said, "Is Jordan Dudley really coming to FSU for soccer?" Because I'm watching her play basketball right now, and she's tearing it up. <laughs> so she has her whole life spent. 50% of her years playing, of, of a calendar year playing basketball, 50% playing soccer. So this is the first time in her life she is fully committed to soccer. And uh, so when you talk about potential, it's, That's it's, it's pretty high. So one more, right? Um, congratulations. Uh, you are two uh, women's soccer players, Jordan Dudley and Leilani Hughes. And I'm wondering if you could sort of talk about how 
those various experiences sort of add to the, the tapestry of this program and what it's been like to adjust and learn about the ways that different cultures influence playing styles and how it all kind of fits together into this champ championship winning team? Yeah, it was a good question. Uh, I think, uh, like, I, I would say that our international people add a lot to this program, and like, I don't know if that sounds weird coming from an international, but I like, I think that we add diversity that is maybe not always seen because we most of us come from playing with like 30 year old women before. Like, we don't play with 16 year olds like the people do over here. We have a different type of playing style, especially in Europe. Um, a long spent time in England, like we do things a little different and you have to go through a different time of period. So coming here, I think we're more mature, both in the playing style and like being far from home, uh, all of those things. And I think that that takes this program in the right direction. I think that we set a standard in ways, not only like, oh, we scored a lot of goals, like that's not maybe the standard I'm talking about. I'm talking about the standard where we know we have to do the right things because the things we sacrifice to get here, we don't take that lightly. And the things we know that we have to fight for. When we were younger, when you're like 14 on a team and there's a 26 year old girl, old girl that's like shooting you out the sideline because she thought you did something bad. Like you learn stuff from that. And I think that us taking that in here, knowing how to treat younger people and how to make people grow, even though we're not that old ourselves, I think that makes this program like a little extra special compared to many others. Uh, and I think it's a good question because it probably goes unnoticed. I think the internationals make a huge difference and it's so cool to you know see how different players, you know, you got Maria doing little things and how she gets their, her little things and you got Beata who's just an absolute dog, you know, and it's just like all these players from all these different backgrounds and cultures and just how their upbringings affected how they got to here and it's, it's, it's just a really wholesome, unified, just big storyline and it just, it, it, it all goes hand to hand and it's just incredible to see like where people add their little at their little things and it just creates this beautiful style of soccer that that you that you can't find a lot of places. Well Leilani and Bianca, thank you so much. Here, here we go. Thank you.